When life gives you kidney stones, it's time to make some lemonade. Oh, kidney stones. This pain is more painful than childbirth. Today, I'm going to give you four natural ways to get rid of kidney stones for good. Let's get started. If you are dealing with kidney stones and that's how you found today's video, you're not alone. One in 10 individuals will have a kidney stone throughout their life and most kidney stones will first show up between the ages of 20 and 40. The likelihood of a recurrence of kidney stones is high and in fact 50% of the recurrence will happen five years after your last kidney stone. So it becomes really critical if you have had one, if you're trying to dissolve one or plagued with multiple kidney stones, that you put yourself on a management plan. And today, that's why we're talking about four different ways for you to resolve kidney stones naturally and dissolve them permanently. Lemons contain a critical stone breaking property and it is called citrate. Some of the most common types of kidney stones that plague 75% of all individuals who get kidney stones are calcium oxalate stones. The citrate in fresh lemon juice when consumed daily, lemonade therapy, consuming juice from fresh lemonades daily, has actually been clinically studied to reduce 90% of the calcium-oriented kidney stone formations. This is significant. The study that I referenced actually measures that reduction, and they do showcase 90% of stone formation is reduced by using lemonade therapy. The lemonade therapy dosing that was studied in this research is actually four ounces of fresh lemon juice to two liters of water and you drink that every day. The second herbal on this list is an amazing Amazonian tropical plant called Chanca Piedra. This herbal is marvelous for a multitude of reasons. I have detailed it in this video here in the past, and I would encourage you to take a look at that. I'll include a link down below. There's a 2018 Brazilian study that assesses Chanca Piedra and its potency with reducing and preventing kidney stones. It affirms and confirms what we've known in natural medicine and herbology for years. Chanca Piedra significantly reduces urinary oxalate and uric acid levels, and most importantly, it reduces the kidney stone size. Now that was affirmed in this 2018 study, but I wanna share with you how you can utilize this and the dosing. First of all, one of the things that I find clinically with my patients who have kidney stones and even recurrent kidney stones, a lot of times when they are moving throughout the varying pockets of the kidney and out the body, they have jagged edges and that tends to cause the most pain. Chanca Piedra, we take it in an herbal form like this. I'll include this particular link down below. We sell this in my full script store. Chanca Piedra can actually minimize some of that calcium that is rigid. That's really critical for minimizing the pain and the damage that occurs while these stones are in transit exiting the body. And if you have experienced this, you know exactly what I mean. So the dosing in this study, they looked at an herbal tincture, an herbal extract, and it was 4.5 grams of this drink that was taken twice a day. So in a liquid tincture, that works out to be about 40 drops three to four times a day. It gives you the potency that mirrors that study. Oh my gosh, friends. Chanca Piedra, it's one of my favorite, favorite go-tos. Stone breaker, as it's called, is going to help prevent the formation of the stones and reduce their size if you have them. Yay, it's an awesome herb. The third amazing potent herbal is an Ayurvedic herb that is known to be very protective of the kidneys. It also has the capacity to lower blood pressure when it's kidney oriented. And studies show not only does it block the formation of kidney stones, it actually prevents them from occurring in the first place. I love tribulus for a lot of my patients who are dealing with recurrent and multiple kidney stones. Tribulus has been studied extensively for its neuroprotective benefits and one of the leading reasons why I recommend tribulus, it can minimize renal damage and it decreases kidney inflammation, which is common if you are experiencing 
kidney stone formation. The daily dosing recommendation based on that study I referenced, it's 750 milligrams per day. And this again is one of those that you want to take continually. But as with all of these items I recommend, make sure you talk with your doctor and also consult with your pharmacist if you are taking any medications or on anything that might be contraindicated by utilizing tribulus. Last and final is one of my favorite supplements that I really feel like so many of us should be taking for a multitude of reasons. In fact, 300 different body systems rely on this particular electrolyte. It is a mineral that we know as magnesium. So magnesium is great friends for kidney stones because it is what we call a calcium antagonist. It is the enemy of calcium that is floating through your blood. So this is the magic of magnesium. When you take magnesium and you have optimal levels of magnesium, magnesium will keep calcium dissolved within your blood. It, it kind of is like the sheepdog. It herds the calcium and keeps it in your blood so it doesn't get deposited in, guess where? Your kidneys. So magnesium is fantastic. The study dosage of magnesium on a daily basis is anywhere between 400 and 600 milligrams a day. Now the specific magnesium, the form of magnesium that was studied to help keep and contain calcium, it is calcium citrate. Now there are a lot of forms of magnesium that can be beneficial. If you choose to use magnesium citrate and you need to hit that four to 600 milligram dose a day, what I recommend is that you divide that dose out. So you take anywhere from 200 to 300 milligrams in the morning and then you take the second dose right before bed. That gives you enough time so they don't have the common bowel symptoms, meaning you're going to get your bowels moving, some people will have diarrhea, going to also flush fluid through the kidneys, and part of that will increase your urine flow, but it also will help move the contents in your bowel and speed up the digestive process. All around, magnesium is a win-win, especially for the 75% of you who are dealing with calcium-oriented kidney stones. My question of the day, if you are experiencing kidney stones, are you on any type of daily kidney stone prevention plan like the four items I detail in today's video? Comment down below, I love hearing from you. And if you are constantly chronically plagued with the formation of kidney stones, and even if they aren't the calcium-based kidney stones, I'm gonna encourage you to check out this kidney health playlist where you can peruse an assortment of videos I've produced in the past that might benefit you by watching and utilizing those health tips in those videos. Thank you for tuning in today. If you love this video, please give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned for Tuesday's video where I'm going to dig in to eczema and specifically how you can heal eczema and psoriasis that might be plaguing you or any members of your family and friend group. So I'll see you on Tuesday's video.